Well, look at you. I must still be dreaming. Just when you thought you'd heard everything, folks, there are tales being told about a very strange-looking machine being built out there in the Commonwealth. Wackiest version I've heard so far is that this thing is supposed to somehow contact the Institute. Now, I don't think I believe that, but... Everything, everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the institute and what they're up to. Yeah, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son.
Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's... it's me. I'm your mom. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, S923, help me! S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Please, try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? <laughs> That's your name? It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. Bullshit! Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? But sixty years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now its leader. They stole you. Irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Another source was necessary. An infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have, yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. I don't want to hear any more right now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. You want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. 
Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance.